This is an internal hard drive. This is normally used on laptop computers or in some external hard drives by, for example, Seagate. But what if you wanted to convert this into this? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert your internal hard drive to an external hard drive. Anyone can do it. So let's get started. Things you will need. An internal hard drive or SSD that is in working condition. It can be new or used, it doesn't really matter. The other thing you will need is simple tools such as a Phillips head screwdriver that you may have lying around, or you can buy one for pretty cheap on Amazon. Lastly, you will need a hard drive enclosure, something like this. I got this from Amazon for about $15. This is the brand I recommend if you're looking anywhere. It's Orico. It's a nice transparent case which I'm going to install this hard drive onto. So full disclosure, the hard drive that I have here actually came out of this enclosure. One of my friends said his hard drive had failed and it stopped working, but I tested it in a different enclosure to confirm that it is working. So I'm going to convert the hard drive that came out of this. This was inside here, and I'm gonna convert it to the Orico case that we bought from Amazon. Now you don't need to buy this fancy kit that I got from Dollar Store. <laughs> you can just get a Phillips head screwdriver that you have lying around, but I'm gonna use this guy. So if your drive has any screws on the side, you would need to open them. You can see here that I have four, because this came out of an external hard drive, a brand new hard drive would not have these screws. So you can skip this step if your hard drive or SSD is new. All right, so people with new hard drives, your hard drive should look like this. No screws on the side. You can continue along the guide. Here's our new enclosure that I got from Amazon. I will leave a link for this in the description down below if you want to get the exact one. Little user guide. The enclosure itself with a little pad for a thinner SSD so it doesn't wobble inside and a micro B USB 3.0 cable, which is gonna be useful to connect to any computer. We remove this plastic that is covering it now. So with this particular model, you don't need to do anything crazy. You just have to press and slide just like a remote control door and then slide it off just like so. This opens up the little container area where the hard drive will go. Now because we're using a pretty thick hard drive we would not need this pad that is supplied with it. If you're using a really slim SSD, only then you would stick it to the SSD with the adhesive tape on the back. We're gonna just put it out here. Only goes in one way. You can see the connector here. I don't know if you can see both, but it's like a little Lego. From the looks of it, it's going to go like that. So I'm just gonna pop it in. You want to align this part with the connector, so just push it in a bit gently. And it should just lock in place and then you can push down here and it just sits flush with the back of the enclosure. All you have to do now is get the cover back on. So just start here, back on, and boom. That looks 100 times cooler. What do you think about this conversion? Let me know down in the comments below. Last step is to just connect it to a computer to see if it works. I'm gonna do just that with this cable. The model I have here uses this micro B connector. It's this, this connector right here. That's going to plug in to here. Just plug that in. And the other side goes into your computer. I'm going to connect the hard drive to my USB port. You can use USB 3 for the fastest speeds. Go. We have a blue light to indicate we're connected. You can see that we have a free agent go flex. We roll. I can put my files on just like a normal external hard drive on an internal disk. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you convert an internal disk to an external using simple tools in like a couple of minutes. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more useful content like this, consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell. You can also check out my other videos right up here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.